the secret behind modern fighter jet manufacturing. In the world of military aviation, where every millimeter of precision and every gram of weight determines success or failure, one seemingly simple question carries life or death significance. Why do state-of-the-art fighter jets rely on hundreds of thousands of tiny rivets instead of seamless welding? Welding is a common method in heavy industry, providing speed and strength. But in aviation welding reveals fatal weaknesses. Modern aircraft skins are often made of ultra-light aluminum and titanium alloys only about 2 millimeters thick. When welded, high temperatures cause the metal to warp and deform, creating unacceptable errors while also degrading the mechanical properties of the material. In an industry where even a micrometer deviation can disrupt mass production welding becomes an impractical choice. The Cold War once showcased two opposing philosophies in high-speed aircraft design. The Soviet Union with the MiG-25 chose stainless steel, a heat-resistant material that could be easily welded, allowing flight speeds up to Mach 3.2 Yet its heavy weight made the aircraft less maneuverable, limited its range and caused engines to degrade quickly. In contrast, the United States developed the SR-71 Blackbird built primarily from titanium, an ultra-light but extremely difficult material to process and rivet. The Americans accepted enormous costs to pursue precise riveting resulting in a Mach 3.2 aircraft that was both durable and reliable, becoming a symbol of the supersonic era. Riveting may sound old-fashioned, yet it offers decisive advantages. First, it preserves the original properties of the material, since no heat is involved and no distortion occurs. Second rivets withstand enormous loads, resist fatigue, and crucially stop cracks from spreading essential in an airframe constantly under variable stress. Third riveting simplifies maintenance. Each panel can be removed, replaced, or inspected without dismantling the entire structure. These qualities keep riveting at the core of aerospace engineering. Entering the stealth era, new demands arose. Aircraft surfaces had to be seamless, smooth, and free of details that might reflect radar waves. Engineers elevated riveting technology to meet this challenge. The F-22 Raptor uses flush rivets combined with radar absorbent coating. The F-35 went even further. Around 50,000 rivets are installed, flush sanded, smooth, and coated with RAM, creating an almost perfectly seamless surface. The result is superior stealth performance, with virtually no visible traces. China's J-20 also applies flush rivets along with composites and RAM. However, some images reveal rivet marks still visible, indicating that its surface treatment technology is not as refined as America's. Russia, meanwhile, followed a different philosophy with the Su-57, prioritizing maneuverability and multi-role firepower over absolute stealth. Thus, rivet lines and panel joints remain visible at close range, a compromise reflecting its unique combat doctrine. Today, new technologies have emerged. Lighter carbon composites, friction stir welding that reduces distortion, and metal 3D printing with lasers enabling integral structures. Yet none have fully replaced rivets. For reliability, fatigue, resistance, maintenance, convenience, and cost efficiency, Riveting remains the optimal solution. A single small rivet, seemingly ordinary, can hold together the frame of a fighter weighing tens of tons. Looking at the thousands of rivets, on an F-35 or Su-57, we see not only engineering, but also the strategic philosophy of each nation. Technology may evolve, but rivets remain the backbone of modern military aviation.